I'm going to show you a clip from a video I made on my psilocybe patch. In the same fruit tree guild as the mushrooms, which you can see I've just rechipped, I grew a ton of potatoes from a small potato. The potato I got was from Paul Gauchy's garden. I went on a tour of his garden a year and a half ago. And uh, sometimes he gives you things when you're there. And uh, if you've seen his videos, you know that he likes to replant his large potatoes. So he harvests his potatoes just before he eats them. He puts the large ones back in the ground to grow more vigorous plants the following year. And he eats the small ones. Well, I got a real small potato. I want to say it was about this big. And because I always do things a little bit late, that potato stayed in my car for a while until it got kind of shrivelly. But I still cherished it. And when I cherish plants, I'll plant them under my fig tree because it's by my house and I can see it. Or I'll plant it under my apple tree also where I can monitor it pretty easily. So this particular potato I put in my fig guild so I can watch it. All right, so fig trees get really large. I have to hack my fig tree back a lot every year and it still grows and takes up this hole. It crosses this pathway and then this new osoberry came later and that leafed out this rose was leafed out. This checker mallow also leafed out. So there was only this little pocket of this little opening kind of right there. And the potato, which you'll see from the clip, is, you know, kind of where I'm pointing. So that potato had a reach in this one little space where it could find the sun. So the potato found the little gap where it could get some sun and I noticed it when I would walk by like, oh that's right I put a potato there and I knew that it was going to be amazing by how just how by huge it was. Also the potatoes that you see in the clip uh, those aren't all of them those are just the ones that I I found. The only reason why I had dug them up Actually, I didn't really dig, dig them up. A critter dug one up. And so there was, when I was filming the video, there was this like eaten potato. And so all I was trying to do was rebury it. And all the other ones were like at the surface were popping up and I kept finding them. So that's what you're just gonna see in the clip. But there are three that I had already harvested. So all of them that grew weren't in there and I didn't try digging them all out. I just thought it was funny how they kept popping up and then seeing the big one. Um, but yeah, it all came from just one tiny potato. I think what's the most interesting though is the fact that it, it wasn't in full sun at all. It had a reach for space, but it was still vigorous. And not only was there not a lot of sun, but it, you know, you see all the plants or all the competition. It wasn't hindered by all the count competition in the guild. If anything, it seemed to benefit from it. So that's the key takeaway, it would be the central theme of this presentation. You can see that a, a critter dug out my Paul Gauchy potato. He, um, if you visit Paul Gauchy's house, he'll give you a potato. And they went wild last year growing in this guild. Even though they didn't get any sun. Oh, here's another one. But his method is you just, you leave them in the ground. And yeah, this happens sometimes. But the thing is, is you plant in abundance. People who grow, people who grow potatoes have them coming up everywhere because you never, they're kind of like sun chokes. You never really, oh, there's a sock. There's always some weird thing. All right, look, even if you leave something like this behind, this little potato, it's going to come back. So everybody always has uh, potatoes, like rogue potatoes growing. There's a rock. 
Wow, this is ginormous. See, for, and for that one they ate, they left these other ones behind. Of course, that doesn't mean that they won't... And of course, that doesn't mean that they won't come back for more. Maybe I'll just pee here and see if that helps. And anybody want to come to my house and have some potatoes? And the potatoes, the potato went crazy here. Maybe because it's in a guild and because there's all kinds of, um, you know, beneficial fungi here. Yeah, these, God. These are some immature figs. Look at all that. Anybody want any of this? Also, my mycelia like it when you break them up. It just makes them grow more when you disturb them. So if I remember reading that correctly. So I'll feed him, I'll probably feed him some pee just to see if I can discourage that critter that came here. Um, but yeah, that's, you just fight that problem with abundance.